OK, what I'm going to show you how to do is to create a report. Um, this one is a little bit more complex because it's going to be using a data set um, table adapter with parameters. So the view was created in SQL Server as before. Um, and the one we're looking at is V marks for AV. So that was copied over to the data set. OK, so if you load the data set up, you should be able to see that in there. Right, so um, there it is there, V marks report. Now, notice that's got a parameter down there. Now, to set that up was really quite straightforward. Um, you right click configure. OK, click on query builder. And then in the student name, because that's what we're going to use. So we're only going to we only want to bring back the records from SQL Server with a particular name that we're going to provide when we use a table adapter to fill the data set. So basically what we write in there, right, so you can replace, um, well, basically what you put in there is a question mark, and then that would that would be parent one, but as I've done it before, it's come up as parent two, so just cancel that, and well, I'm going to cancel it, but you would have to put that in. Um, so that's how they've got the parameter in there. Right, the next thing to do is to obviously create a form where the report's going to exist. And what we need is a combo box that just has student names in it. And then we're going to use that as the criteria. OK, so what I need to do is other data sources. I need to go to the MarksDB dataset and find student. And basically, I want to display student name and value member student name, and that's fine as it is. Okay, probably should have used student ID, but I've set the parameter up on student name, so that's what I'm going to use. Right, so what we're going to do now is add the report viewer to the form and find reporting, Microsoft report viewer, work that on the form. Okay, make it nice and big. Okay, now click on the magic button on the form. And we need we haven't created the report yet, so we're designing a new report. We get the wizard comes up. Right, and what we're looking for is V marks report. Okay, so select that, make sure it's that one. Because that's the one we just dealt with. Right, so now you've got to decide what we want. Um, so for each student, what we want to show is their marks. OK, so we want the student name we have there. We want an individual target grade, so we can have that. Um, and then within there, we, what we want is the assignment name. So for each student, the mark value that they got, the comment, and we could probably put a course name in the group as well. So for each student name, ITG and student name, we show these values in there. So click next, and next again, next again. So it's report two, which is fine for now. Click finish. OK. So there's our report done for now. We're going to modify it later. So we go back to our form that the report's going to be on. It hasn't actually told it that's the form we're going to use so we must choose say choose report so report two okay now we've got some errors and that's, that's what we should get because if you double click on there vb wasn't bright enough to know that we need to send in a parameter when we use the table adapter to okay so what we do is give it a comma and for now, just give it a double quote because it's expecting a string, and that's fine. Okay, so what we can do is actually try it out now. You know, it won't bring back any, it won't show anything because there are no student names with double quote, double quote, or, or nothing in double quotes. But we'll just see, make sure it doesn't crash at least. Right, so let's click on reports two. Okay, report is being generated. Nothing comes up. That's fine. Um, now, what we would do now is click on our combo box. So you click on the um, 
combo box and you should see the names in there and these are, we're going to use these when you select those and click the button it's basically going to refresh the report with that criteria so in order to do that what we need to do is set up the code on that button right so we're going to Double click on the button. Right. So what we need to do is just copy those two lines. Make sure it's those two and not the one that is used for the combo box. Right. So basically what we can do now is replace that double quotes with the combo box. So CMB. Simply student name dot text. Okay, and that would refill VMARK's report data table and then the line below refreshes the report. So let's see if this works. Okay, so when it loads up, it should still be blank. Okay, so I'm not sure if he's got any marks. Yeah, yes. So there we go. Um, okay, so what we can see there, that what I don't like about this is the way that it's done a new line for each um, ITG course name. We can change that though. It's not that difficult. And what we'll also do is put an average mark on. Right, so what we do, close, close the program down. We basically need to just modify the report now. So in Solution Explorer, um, we need to, well, we've got to open anyway. We need to go to the report to design. Now, this is almost like a bit like a spreadsheet. Um, basically, if you want to get rid of that stepped effect that occur, occurs, um, you can select that and then paste it up there. Okay, that didn't work. Um, Okay, so cut that and then paste it in the one above. Okay, the way to do that is to just click on the edge of the cell. It's quite difficult on this one, but so we cut that and then paste it and do the same for the one below. So cut. It does cock up the colouring a little bit, but it doesn't really matter too much. Um, so that will have them on the same line now. Now what we'd like to do is is to put in a footer just like we did before. So we go edit group um, include group footer. Okay, okay. And then basically what we do is we put the average. So again right click expression Expand common functions, aggregate. Okay, we've got AVG there. So AVG, average. Look for our fields. We want to average on mark value percent. Close the bracket. Click OK. And save. Uh, but probably a good idea to delete those two columns there because we're going to have gaps, but. For now, that's fine. Click run. Let's see if this works. Okay, uh, reports two, so it should come up blank again. Okay, click the button. Okay, so 18.5, which we do some text there to um, show that's the average. Um, that seems fine and obviously we can print and everything from there as well so that's basically how you set up a report with parameters slightly more complex than before but not that 